and welcome. We're the Howards and we're so glad you've joined us on our Florida vlog, our first Disney World adventure. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see what's coming up. Right, so we're up super early. Probably wasn't the best night to go and do the Phantasmic because we had quite a late night and the boys are definitely very tired this morning, but I think they're gonna wake up when we get on the way, aren't you? We're now gonna grab some drinks and then we're getting our Uber. We got up at, um, well, Mark and I were up at quarter to six. The boys got up about quarter past six and it is now 6.30. Seems like a nice day, which hopefully it's gonna stay that way because it is forecast a bit of rain, but I don't know, my app looks a bit better today. So fingers crossed, no rain because we are now heading to the beach. So we're gonna go to the foyer, fill our bottles up with some water, grab an Uber over to Margaritaville, which I'm guessing is gonna be 15, 20 minutes, and then catch our coach, which is gonna take us to Clearwater Beach for the day. So we're excited about that, aren't we? We're going on the Sea Screamer and we're hoping we're gonna see some dolphins out in the wild, which will be amazing. And um, yeah, that's our day. So we'll let you know how we get on. Don't forget to stay tuned and stay liked and subscribed. Here comes our Uber, right on time. These things have been bang on so far, highly recommended. So we're here, ready for our coach, picking us up at quarter past seven. Boys have definitely woken up. So our pickup point was at Margaritaville. When we got our booking information, they sent us a picture of this entrance so we knew we were in the right place. I booked our Clearwater trip through Florida Real Adventures. I found them on TripAdvisor and I booked it before we traveled. The cost of our day was $535. I Googled and found a code direct 10, so make sure you do that and I did get a small discount. Obviously it was raining all the way here and raining when we got here, so we were very concerned about the weather. We went on our boat trip early in the day. They organized this because of the unpredictable weather, so we didn't miss out. Unfortunately, the Sea Screamer, which we'd booked as part of our trip was down on the day but they got us on this megabyte boat ride instead it was still really nice really nice fun boat the boys liked the novelty of the shark thing the scenery was great so we were really hoping to spot some dolphins i'd seen some awesome pictures of people who had recommended this trip to me with dolphins jumping up and down behind the boat unfortunately none of that we had a really nice ride out the weather stayed out for us and it was beautiful and sunny and hot but the dolphins, they just didn't really show up. But there was really nice scenery to see and it was a really nice trip anyway. The boat trip lasted, I would say, just under one hour. So just as we had given up hope, someone spotted some dolphins in the distance. We did get a cheeky glimpse at them swimming under the water, but unfortunately no jumping displays or anything. So it was a little bit disappointing, but we did get to see some and it was just, it was a beautiful trip anyway. So well worth going out on. We enjoyed it. So then the boat headed back into the harbour and we took ourselves off down to Clearwater Beach. Now this beach is absolutely beautiful. I don't think these videos do it justice at all. It is gorgeous. On getting to the beach, we realised we had a huge surprise here as there were some massive black shadows swimming around in that water and everyone was looking at them and we had no idea what they were. But coming up shortly, you will see it made our day. It was amazing. Just got down on the beach at Clearwater. It's absolutely beautiful. We travelled here and it was pouring with rain, so I'm not going to lie. It's filled with dread because it cost quite a lot of money to come down here today. So the thought of it raining all day, especially if it was a birthday surprise, was a bit gutting. There's just been a group of um, manta rays or stingrays, whatever they are, they're swimming through everyone there. It's absolutely boiling at the moment, so it's really great. <laughs> wow. Wow. It was so nice on the beach. The boys loved being in the sea. The water was warm and calm and clear and it was just an awesome day. It made us realise that if we do do a Florida trip in the future, well we hope to do one, it's not if, it is when, we 100% are going to split our time between the park side 
and the beachside. We would have loved to stay here for a few more days. So we headed off to get our lunch and on arrival, the restaurant that we were told to go to was shut. Our tour guide, Brad, had literally messaged us when we got there, so it was really good timing. And he came along and he escorted us to the other restaurant, which he understood we could use, just to double check that we could get in there okay. So he saw us in there, which was really, really kind of him. And we ate at Krabby's Beachside, which was amazing. We had $20 allowance each, and that paid for all of our food, a large jug of sangria, drinks for the boys, and the boys had ice cream after dinner too. So that worked out really well. Time to chill and luckily there's something on the telly that the kids want to watch so we might get to enjoy it. Harrison, what have you got? Hamburger? Hamburger. Wow, those chips look awesome. And Josh has got chicken strips and chippies. And we have got, what have we got? Crab and shrimp dip. Calamaris. Crocodile. And alligator bites. <laughs> yep, we'll let you know. Right, let's try a bit of alligator bite, Harrison. Tell us what it's like. Shrimp and crab dip. Alligator. Alligator. Right. Now, Josh, are you going to try a bit? Alligator. Alligator. Just love fish and chips, so. What do you think? Can I try some alligator? Yeah. I predict on the alligator bites. Oh, sure. They are good. Alligator bites. Just your like chicken. Like calamari. The rain started again while we were in here having lunch, so I'm so glad we got upstairs undercover because when we arrived, there was loads of people sitting on these tables at the front of the restaurant, so I don't know where they went. But really nice restaurant. Highly recommend giving it a go. If you were at Clearwater, it was very nice and the service was great. Quite nice, Josh. The day at the beach actually went really quickly. I think our pickup time was at around four o'clock, if I remember correctly, because it is about an hour and a half journey, and the traffic getting out of Tampa is very busy, so it takes a lot longer. So we just decided to have a little stroll down Pier 60. The boys put some pennies in like the little microscopes there and had a look out. Nice and beach, then we mate. discovered that we could see the manatees swimming under the Very bridge nice. and along the shoreline. This was so much fun to watch because they literally just startle people because the people are swimming or standing in the water and then they turn around and realize they've got like this seven, eight foot massive thing swimming behind them. It was making people jump, but they were so just lovely to sit and watch. It is their breeding season apparently and this is why they're in the shallow water because they come in to breed. Some people had put some really good pictures on one of the pages I follow on Facebook and there was about 10 of them like literally all just laying looking like they were beach. Obviously they weren't, they were quite happy there doing their thing. But yeah, it was a really nice touch to see these at the beach, something really different and unexpected. Heading back to the harbour where we got dropped off, watching all these pelicans and birds was really cool. You just don't see huge birds like this sitting around at home and they are really, really big. Um, there is these really cool bars, Waikiki bars, I think they're called. These bars um, Tiki so boat cool. tours. And we, we saw these go out, they actually well attach them to the back of a boat, so you must just hire them and you've got your bar there. Sit around your bar and float around in the sea, how cool. The guys here had obviously been out fishing and this man was cutting up their catch of the day. These pelicans, they're full on, they're all getting on his table. They were crazy. The boys tried to get up close to one, but I think they were a bit scared.
So driving home, the weather was horrific. There was massive lightning, the roads were flooded. Talk about our tour guide, his name was Brad. He was super helpful in finding us lunch. He drove lovely, felt safe. We had a movie on in our little minibus. It was just a minibus with sort of 12 people seated in there. So that was really nice and comfy. And yeah, really good day out, I highly recommend. This way, mate. So we're just back from our day at Clearwater. It is now about half past seven. I booked the trip through Florida Real Tours. We had a really good day anyway. So when we left, it was raining and we were like, no, this is gonna be rubbish for a day on the beach. And when we got there, it was raining even more, wasn't it? And then we got out and went down to the, no, we've done our boat ride first, which is really, really good. We only just saw some dolphins kind of in the distance, didn't get them close up, which we were really gutted about. But then the weather was beautiful, wasn't it? Really sunny when we were out on our boat ride. When we went down to the beach, it was really, really sunny there as well. As you can see, we've all caught a bit of colour today. Went out for a walk on Pier 60 and then we went to Crabby's for lunch, which was also really nice. So we're all very tired after our day at the beach. We've come to chill by the pool for a little while. It's now 20 to 8, so quite late. We're all really tired, but the boys have been wanting to watch a movie all week, so... We're going to be playing the pool all day! They're shooting a bit of pool. We're gonna have a late night swim. Hopefully the movie will be on soon. Um, we just, we were gonna order some food in, but I went on a takeaway app and Uber and just for how much that meal is gonna cost and getting it delivered and it's raining on and off here. We don't really wanna go and sit in the room and eat it. We are just gonna go in to the intermission cafe here and grab something to eat. It'll just be burger or pizza or something. Really quick, simple and easy, but it'll do the job. Um, Mark's just gone back to the room to get our naughty bottle of gin. Um, we got a bottle at the airport, which was about 12 pounds, so super, super cheap. And we just pop a little in our refill cups because alcoholic drinks are so, so expensive. Um, so we're gonna sit by the pool. Hopefully the rain's gonna stay away and have a couple of little gin and sprites. So they don't do tonic and some really unhealthy express food with chips again but the beach was amazing so that was well worth the trip um obviously i'll upload the video so you would have seen all that already great day out i really recommend it so i've just treated ourselves to a cocktail each i've got this one mark's got some blue concoction he didn't check to see what they're called i can't remember you can't remember 38 dollars two cocktails hence the reason we haven't been drinking too much this holiday Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the playlist to see the rest of our Florida adventure.